call upon His name and worship Him. We have gathered in this place to call upon His name and worship Him. the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit gathering together worshiping our god let us surrender our lives to him on this altar a life will be raised up with bread and wine and will be accepted by the lord and sanctified there could be something unacceptable in us and that's our sinfulness let's pause for a moment waiting for the holy spirit to remind us of everything sinful everything unworthy of the lord that we may receive forgiveness let us confess together i confess to, to almighty god, god and to, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that i have, have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in what, what i have done and in what i have failed to do, to do. through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray stir up the will of your faithful we pray o lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion they may receive in great measure the healing remedies of your kindness through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. reading from the book of daniel chapter 2 31 to 45 in those days daniel said to nabukadnasar you saw o king and behold a great image this image mighty and of exceeding brightness stood before you and its appearance was frightening The head of this image was the fine gold its chest and arms of silver its middle and thighs of bronze its legs of iron its feet partly of iron and partly of clay as you looked a stone was cut out by no human hand and it stuck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces then the iron the clay the bronze the silver and the gold 
altogether were broken in pieces and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found but the stone that stuck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this was the dream now we will tell the king its interpretation you o king the king of kings to whom the god of heaven has given the kingdom the power and the might and the glory and into whose hand he has given wherever they dwell the children of man the beast of the field and the birds of the heavens making you rule over them all you are the head of gold another kingdom inferior to you shall arise after you and yet a third kingdom of bronze which shall rule over all the earth and there shall be a fourth kingdom strong as iron because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things and like iron that crushes it shall break and crush all these and as you saw the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron it shall be divided kingdom it shall be a divided kingdom but some of the firmness of iron shall be in it just as you saw iron mixed with the soft clay and as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle as you saw the iron mixed with soft clay so they will mix with one another in marriage but they will not hold together just as iron does not mix with clay and in the days of those kings the god of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed no shall the kingdom be left to another people it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and bring them to an end and it shall stand forever just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand and that it broke in pieces the iron the bronze the clay the silver and the gold a great god has made known to the king what shall be after this the dream is certain and its interpretation is sure this is the word of god thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever sing, sing praise, praise to him and, and highly, highly exalt him, him forever, forever. Bless the Lord all works of the Lord sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever sing, sing praise, praise to, to him and highly exalt him forever bless the lord you heavens sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever sing, sing praise, praise to, to him and highly exalt him forever bless the lord you angels of the lord sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever Sing, sing praise, praise to, to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord all waters above the heaven, sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord all powers, sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Be faithful unto death says the Lord and I will give you the crown of life Alleluia Alleluia The Lord be with you and with and your spirit our reading from the holy gospel according to Luke Glory, Glory to you Lord, Lord. Chapter 20 1 verses 7 to 11 Then they asked him teacher when will this happen 
And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. And time has come, do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified. For such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, the saint, the church, celebrates today is Pope Clement the First. Pope Clement was the third successor of Saint Peter and this great Pope has laid down remarkably the principles of unity in the church. These principles that have become guidelines for, for a long time and even today, how unity is to be restored and established in the church. Perhaps not only in the church at large, but even in our families and communities. In the time of St. Clement the First, there was a split in Corinth, in the church of Corinth, in Greece. And that split alienated a large number of laity from the clergy. It became alarming for the faithful and the news of this division reached the ears of Pope Clement I and he inquired more elaborately the reason for this division. He understood some eminent members of the laity could not agree to the ideas proposed by the clergy, the leaders of the church. And that caused the split. And the Pope laid down very clear instructions how to deal with that problem. And that writing is called the first letter of Saint Clement I to the Corinthians. In this letter, the Pope wrote, I understand you have a division because of the ideas of some of the eminent members of the laity and of the clergy. And the Pope said, it's not ideas that rule the church. Christianity is all about the heart, love. Ask yourself, are you committed to Jesus Christ in love? Are you united with each other in love? Love is the commandment. Love is the most important thing in Christian life. If you love each other, you will not allow your ideas to separate you. 
ideas are bound to be different because ideas in the brain are formed by your way of thinking and thinking is influenced radically by your nature which is different from each other the trend of thinking outside of you in the world there are many things that could mold your pattern of thinking but if you love jesus christ if you love each other you will not allow your ideas to separate you you should come together and pray together commit your life to jesus in love and be connected to each other love will overcome all separations and divisions there will be a new framework for thinking not merely what the brain dictates but what love unites and the division among you is caused because you are not praying together committing your life in love to the lord and to each other this letter was read widely in the early church not only in corinth but in all the different places where church was already gaining strong roots and this letter to corinthians became the basis of unity in the church from then on people got very clearly in their heart what is essential to be a christian and to be able to come together as a church in love to share rather than to debate in debate there's no love in sharing there is love and peace was established unity was established in corinth perhaps when we look into the church in later centuries these principles were perhaps disregarded in the church that's why the big splits in the church happened not because of ideas ideas are bound to be different but because of the lack of love commitment to god and to each other in our families we need to understand this the parents may think differently the brothers and sisters may have different ideas ideas are bound to be different but if you know for sure that you are united as a family by god by god's love you will come together in prayer and share with each other your ideas and then ideas will not cause a division ideas will enrich you when ideas are shared in love this could be a great principle in our communities in our parishes pope clement the 1st a remarkable architect of unity in the church and we remember the saint thanking god for giving us the core the essence of our faith of christianity when 
we forget the essence of love and faith we go after reasonings ideas it's not ideas that will unite us as a church as a community as a parish as a family but love and the nature of god is love the holy trinity father son and holy spirit not three gods though three persons because united in love by the holy spirit let us understand this when a division is coming up anywhere the people concerned must come together in prayer waiting for the holy spirit to unite us beyond all the differences of ideas amen that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church accept this sacrifice grant our supplication we pray o lord that this sacrifice we present on the feast day of blessed clement the first may be for our good since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them, them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts by their way of life you offer us an example by communion with them 
you give us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our lord and so with the angels and archangels and with great multitude of the saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope malcolm cardinal renchit our archbishop all his auxiliaries and all the bishops and priests and religious all over the church remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy and welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen, amen. with the confidence of the children in the love of our heavenly father let us all pray to him in the words our savior taught us our, our father, father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power and, and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be always with you and, and with, with your spirit so for each other a sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace behold the lamb of god Behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep me safe for eternal life amen amen spiritual communion prayer my jesus you are present and alive in the most holy sacrament at this moment i am unable to receive you sacramentally i desire you to come spiritually into my soul o oh my lord jesus come into my heart amen everything you know that i love you let us pray may the power of the gifts we have received lord god on this feast day of blessed clement the first fill us with its effects both to sustain a mortal life and to gain us the joy of unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Blessed assurance, Jesus. Jesus, praise you, Jesus, you are here. Praise you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, praise you. Bless you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Allah shalala shalala shalala. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. We bless you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Praise. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Such a blessed moment in our lives. You have come down to us, your mighty God, living in eternal glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit. You have come down to us to be with us, to be part of us. to make us part of you inviting us you abide in me i will abide in you i am the vine you are the branches you are telling us as a branch i want to abide in you You promised to abide in me. You promised to make me part of you. What an assurance. 
our blessed assurance jesus you're mine you're my savior you're my healer you're my shepherd as i'm part of you when i am wounded you will heal me when i rebel against you and stray away from you you will not abandon me as the good shepherd you will come in search of me because you cannot leave me a prey to the wolves of sin you will come in search of me and pick me up from the mess of sin i could have been entangled in what a blessed assurance jesus you are mine i'm yours in this intimacy of love i find my identity i find my life i find my future blessed assurance that you are giving me now that has made me part of you it's your mercy that makes me yours and your own lord i thank you i praise you for your infinite mercy and compassion i rejoice in your presence in belonging to you i rejoice my little existence on this little earth could have never got such a great privilege as you have given me praise you jesus thank you we worship you lord jesus we adore you lord jesus praise praise you jesus thank you lord hala hashalala sala Hallelujah 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 Praise you Jesus thank you Jesus Praise you Jesus thank you Jesus Bless you Jesus thank you Lord Praise you Jesus thank you Lord Hallelujah 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 Praise you Jesus thank you Lord Praise you Jesus Thank you Jesus praise Praise you Jesus thank you Lord my story and that is my song of praise my story 
of having strayed away from you and you coming in search of me picking me up in your arms and you brought me home to yourself i was sick lord i i was hurt i was let down i was rejected lord many times over and yet i did not languish in the prison of hatred or grief or despair because you picked me up you made me your own that's my story that's my hymn of praise because I'm yours. I want to offer to you now, Lord, everyone who should know this story of mine. This message my life conveys. Because Lord, there are many who are languishing in the prison of hatred and despair because of wrong things that happened to them lord because they could not understand and accept how others could hurt them like this lord i bring to you every such person i know I bring to you I bring to you Lord every such person for you to touch them and heal them that that they also may proclaim your love and mercy Jesus as Andrew brought Simon his brother to you Andrew was the disciple of John the Baptist. He came to you, Lord, and he stayed with you with John. And the next day, Andrew brought his brother Simon. Jesus, he looked at him, and immediately he changed his name. your peter a new name a new identity a new story a new song that's what simon peter became he was simon too human too weak he so weak he even denied you But Lord you could build him up as a rock the foundation of your church on him you built the church Jesus when i look at your face i want you to remind me Lord whom i should go and bring to you whom i should go and share your love to my father my brother my sister my mother lord i have hurt feelings i know their weaknesses as andrew knew the weaknesses of his brother simon andrew also knew if they came to you they will heal you will heal them they will be healed and they will become a new creation jesus i pray for my dad 
for my mom. I pray for my brother, for my sister, my wife, my husband. I want to bring to you, Lord, all the hurts I may have received from them. I have forgiven. But perhaps there are scratches of blood still left on my heart. Scratches they have caused. I offer them to you. A friend, a neighbor, a colleague, I want to bring to you, Lord. I want to bring to you. You will change their story, their identity. You will change their life into a song of praise. Jesus, all because of what you have done to me, the blessed assurance you have given me, making me your own, you become coming my Lord and Savior perfect submission all is at rest I am my Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. Allah Hashalala Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Savior, in Jesus, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. A person in grief that his brother does not talk to him. That he is cut off from his brother. 
for the reasons of the past the lord is telling him you go get reconciled and then come you go and get reconciled and then come the lord is giving that person this mission a mission is an assurance that the lord who gave them mission will be with him my brother go go to your brother go to your sister and mend the relationship you do not know how long you will live you do not know how long he or she will live will you choose to die in this enmity and what assurance the lord is telling you when you go and get reconciled and come back i will accept your sacrifice the sacrifice of your life aren't you failing again and again in your efforts aren't you getting frustrated in your office that means your life is not accepted by the lord the lord is waiting to accept your life after you come back after you have got reconciled the lord is giving that brother that grace of love do not judge do not condemn do not evaluate what the other has done for you look at the lord what he has done for you he died as st paul tells us when we were enemies offenders he came down in humility and love to offer his life for us it is this lord who's come to us now in the holy eucharist asking you to go and bring your brother as andrew brought his brother to jesus and god is sending you to your friend who is living in sin who is defeated in business go the lord is sending you change the story of the lives of people changing it to a song of praise who is it that the lord is sending you now jesus i will go If you send me If you want me to go I will obey I will go I will I'll bring my family to you my circle of friends to you 
my colleagues to you in love lord in love given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight let us pray lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever
you.